GOT channel. This tutorial series introduces the logging function for collecting device values. In this video, we will demonstrate how to configure logging when saving logging data to a file. To save the logging data, you need to configure the logging target, buffering area, and how to save the logging file. From the GT Designer 3 menu bar, click Common, then Logging to open the Logging List dialog. Then, click the New button to open the Logging dialog. Click the Detail Setting button to display the detail settings. First, let's enter the name of the logging configuration. Here, we enter Logging 1. Next, we will configure the logging target. Let's set the target devices. Click the Set Target Device button, and the Device tab will appear. In this video, we collect values from D5500 to D5502. So enter D5500 for device, and 3 for points. Then, click the OK button. Next, we select the logging mode. In this video, we want the logging files to be saved on an SD card, so select File. Next, we set the timing of collecting the device values. Click the Trigger Setting button to open the Trigger Setting dialog. In this video, we want the device values to be collected every second, so select Sampling as Trigger Type and enter 10 in Settings below Trigger Type. Then, click the OK button. The logging target configuration is now complete. Next, we will configure the buffering area. Let's set the number of logs to be stored in the buffering area. Here, we set it to 10. The configuration of the buffering area is now complete. Finally, we will configure how to save the logging files. First, we set the number of logs to be stored in one logging file. In this video, we set it to 100. Next, we set the location to which the logging files are saved. Click the Destination button, and a dialog box will appear. Select Standard SD Card for Drive Name. Click the OK button. Now, we set the maximum number of logging files to be saved. In this video, we set it to 30. Finally, we will configure the settings to create a CSV file. Let's check the Output Additional File checkbox. Click the Destination button on the right to open the Destination dialog box and select CSV for the output type. Then, click the OK button. The configuration of how to save the logging files is now complete. Click the OK button and the Close button to finish. And that concludes our introduction to the logging configuration. Please also watch our other videos related to logging.